Uh, all right. I finally got it done. This is the little showcase I'm going to do for the newest version of the mod pack I made. Um, also, before I start, I'd like to note. I am only responsible for putting this mod pack together. I did not in, in any way create any of these mods. The only thing I did was edit the text files in the game and hack the music into the game directly and coded it in. All the custom skins and everything are not from me. I did not make any of them. I left a huge, long, impossibly long list of all the authors that made all the skins, all their usernames on GameBandana.com in the, in the text file description. And also, I read up on the copyright laws, and according to this, if they were if they release their inf their stuff for free on Game Banana, as long as I give them credit, which I'm doing now, and in that description and like in the text file, as long as I list and give them credit and do not take credit for their work, as long as I'm not making any money or monetizing this at all, then it is perfectly legal for me to share this as freely as well as in a mod pack. As long as I also don't share it as an editable file, and I'm my mod pack is already pre-packed, so it's not like you can take it and edit it, because you, because you can't. So I'm actually within all my rights of, of doing all that. So all that legal mumbo jumbo out of the way. Uh, the best mods were made by KTH, by the way, because they guys a beast. Just point that out. Sorry. Anyway, uh, besides the thing, uh, one of the new ones I have, and I don't, I'm not, and anyone that's an author, I'm not gonna list you all by name because there are just too many of you. And if I for somehow forgot to credit you, please tell me, and I'll put you in the credits immediately. I will re-upload everything because I don't want to take credit because I, I just don't have the ability to make this stuff. Awesome stuff. And just to make this quick, uh, so I can get through stuff faster, I'm going to be doing the, uh, I put it on 2.0 launch rate, so it's really easy to get through all the, all the different skins that there are. Alright, well, obviously, for, uh, I don't have the Mies, that's not a mod, that's just I deleted them all because it makes, the, this looks pretty, this looks nice. Uh, as you can already tell, there's already custom music, mini music playing right now. Actually, I'll go ahead and cover the music first. You'll notice I added on a couple options for uh, mini music. And then for every single every single stage except for a couple select stages like I don't know if I added something in the okay no I added a couple on that one. But like uh, every single stage has at least one extra song of all my songs that I added on it onto it. That way, if you're playing For Glory or whatever, you can have custom, you can have a custom music song if you like that kind of music. You'll also notice that I added all the music in, like all the all the legal stages for tournament have like 39 songs on them, up to 40 songs on them. You'll see all these extra songs; they're all extra slots that are put into the game. And you'll notice that they all look like they're turned off. Well, if you look kind of close, like if you get to where all the, because I don't replace any default music. So that way, if anyone that wants to put their own music into the game, in the text file I left a description on how to do that. It's, uh, you just pretty much download it and rename it over this song, and then it replaces it. I put all my music in and named it in the game, so that way the credit, the people that made the song get credited if you look at it in the vault. And also, when he shows up, when you play the start the game, it'll actually say the name of the song in the game, which also helps eliminate copyright issues as well. And it looks like this is off, but if you look closely, this, these sliders are slightly forward by one. Because these are actually set to 1%. And uh, normally, like, when you press Y to reset the default settings, normally you can't choose the default. The game is a preset default. I changed the preset default if you're using my pack. And when you press Y to reset all the music settings to the stages, it turns every single default song off to 0% rarity. And every single new song, all of them, because I like them all, it sets them all to 1%. So then they all have an equal chance of playing. Any of that you don't like, you can just turn off or just leave it 1%. And then basically, by doing it 
if you say want to hear unfinished battle if you max this out to 100% you're almost guaranteed to get it and if you somehow get the one of the other ones at a 1% chance well then that was just unlucky but you're almost that way you can pretty much choose any song you want but all the default songs are also off it also makes activating all the custom music really easy because all you have to do is just do this on every single stage that you, on all the legal stages and you're done like 30 seconds in your in your setup and then as for the other ones like all the other stages like for the four glory stages and stuff you just have to turn them off manually and do that i didn't change the presets on those because there was only one song i only did it on these because even though the game can hold up to 40 songs per stage that wasn't a mod by adding them in like the game can only save like eight songs at a time and every time you turn it off and turn it back on and re-enable the mods it's only going to save even if you say turn all the defaults off and turn on every single legal every single custom song i have and turn them all on it'll only remember like the first eight and then the other ones will all be turned back off so that's why i changed the preset so then you can just do this and it turns them all on instantly so i made it really easy for everyone well i see yeah lila 39 songs all the default music is there so i didn't replace any default music so you're able to replace the default music if you want if you want your own music in that way so then you can have my music and yours and if you don't like my music well then i'm sorry but that covers the music pretty all also for sound i recommend turning at the sound effects down to 70 and then like you can leave the voices and music up high but you need the music on max because the thing about custom music is it tends to be slightly quieter than normal in-game music so you kind of need to max it out and then sound effects are always too loud anyway you can always hear the sound effects you should always turn that down but anyway, on to the, uh, the skins. Survival. Also, you'll notice that all the, the text has uh, been changed because someone made an awesome little thing with the nameplates. Uh, he changed it and used the font that came, comes from each of their games. So it's like Mario text, Star Fox text, Luigi's Mansion, each... Bowser, you know, like Yoshi, like the O is the egg. I mean, it's like all text that comes from their games. Like, look, Pokemon text, uh, Final Fantasy text for Cloud, not Street Fighter text, you know, Fire Emblem text, Animal Crossing, you know, that's all text that comes from their own games. Um, all right, anyway, uh, also, Fox is in the wrong place. I already know why he's there. I decided not to fix and move him back. Because that's a mistake I made a while ago, and this kind of is like a little watermark on my pack. So then it lets you, it lets me know if this is my pack or not. Because if someone is using my pack and Fox is there, then I know it's mine. You know, I could fix it, but I didn't really care that much. So you know, he's there. So oh well. Anyway, uh, every single character in this game, except for Rob, has custom. Every single character except for Rob and Kirby has custom skins because they all have a uh, because. Those two have like a glitch when you add extra slots. Yoshi also has the same glitch, but I do have one custom skin of white Yoshi instead of yellow because, well, a local player in my scene, like, they, they don't like the yellow one, and they, though they, they, he used to use yellow. He was the only one that used yellow. But he actually likes white more than yellow, so he had, he asked me to replace that one. And that way that he doesn't get the glitch. Uh, other than that, Game & Watch has a couple new ones, but they're not replacements because uh, they have to be replaced over his default skins because Game & Watch has so many files that it, if you make even one mistake trying to add a new slot, it crashes the entire game. Uh, Little Mac is the other one that has no re has a replacement. Instead of the wireframes, I just have eight hoodie colors because almost nobody used the wireframes. And if you did use the wireframes, well then, I'm sorry, you, you don't get to use the wireframes. You get to use awesome hoodie colors instead. And then, uh, other than that, I'm not going to show off every single skin. I'm only going to show off the ones that have significant changes, like voice modifications or, like, actual vertex edits. But anyway, for Mario, uh, we have, like, Cosmic, we have Cosmic Clone Mario, uh, C9 Mario, Grandad, Sponge, Gold Mario, uh, Super Mario Land 2 Mario, uh, Star Mario, Shadow Mario, and Mr. M, and an Evo Mario. Uh, this one right here has a voice change to the Cosmic Clone Mario. Mario. On uh, Fox, you have uh, this. All of Fox's voices are melee voice Fox. Every single one of them is melee voice. 
except for this one is uh, Snow Camel Fox. This is Brawl Voice. This one has Brawl Voice, and Wolf obviously has Wolf's voice. And then these are some melee colors of Fox right here. Luigi has a voice pack that changes his voice to sound like for like a Luigi's Mansion voice pack. Other than that, uh, we got uh, Ice Luigi, Mr. L, and an NES Open Luigi. Uh, for Peach, we have uh, like a Shadow Peach, uh, Shroob, Shroob looking Peach. Uh, that just looked cool to me, so I got it. Uh, and a Global Colored Peach. Pink gold peach and a Pauline colored peach. Uh, also, I'll, I'll I'll have to show Peach in a sec. Uh, Bowser has a voice pack as well. Uh, and then I got uh, Melee Blue Bowser, Dark Bowser, Meowser, and uh, they haven't got the model import for Dry Bowser to work yet, so that's just the Dry Bowser color. But they're they're working on a model import for Dry Bowser right now. And Rosalina Luma doesn't have anything, but they just have a lot of uh, a lot of optional colors. Everything's on new slots. Bowser Jr. same thing. As uh, I kept all the Koopalings instead of replacing them, and I just added a bunch of new slots. Wario, same thing. Uh, he has a bunch of new colors. Also, Mr. Krabs, because it is Wi-Fi safe, believe it or not, so it's a thing. Also, I have the NES Open Wario color, because that's felt like it should be added. Also, every single character that's like a obvious like different character or whatever is a custom nameplate. And unlike other mod packs, I actually take the time to edit the text file in the game, so they'll show up in game as well. I'm going to Boxing Arena to show off the uh, n the nameplates. And you see, if you heard that, that was the different voice. You can hear Cosmic Clone Mario's voice. I think the Meowser one turned out pretty well. As I said, I'm not, I don't remember my name, who made which thing. Just shoutouts to everyone that made these. I also look at the billboard. Because there's a custom name, I changed the names in the back. Because of the text file, so I'm the one that put that in. King of the Kittens and, and Mr. Krabs, RR, Money Money. I'm not going to show them every character, but every single character that has a custom name has something on Boxing Arena, so you have a nice little treat to go look for. Yes, I had that skin. Got a lot of different options for Diddy Kong, as you can see here. Like a uh, Super Diddy, Conquer Diddy. It's like a Snowmad Diddy. You know, Trump Diddy. Pokemon Trainer Diddy. A lot of options. Uh, this here Link. Uh, we got a Pink Link, uh, Black Link without being evil. Uh, Breath of the Wild Color Link. Uh, for Zelda, uh, sometimes the when you have a lot of skins, they take a the the CSPs take a minute to load. Uh, there is a lot of extra data. It's not going to crash the game. It's just sometimes it does that. Look, see now Zelda's is going to load. It's just that's just the way it is.
I tested these just a minute ago on Poor Glory, and then they were and they, they loaded just fine. Now it's gonna do this when I'm making a video. Funny. So I have to load each each picture individually. All right. So you can force load it this way too by backing in and out. Yeah, there's a midnight color too. Sorry. Normally it doesn't do this. Normally they all load a lot faster. Alright, well the point is they're all there and they will show up in game. I'm sorry it's not doing it now, it's just being dumb. Anyway, Sheik, we got Icy Sheik, Panda Global Sheik, and Aghanim Color Sheik. I'll show off this i I'm gonna show off that skin. Ganondorf, we have uh, Hyrule Warriors Ganondorf with the sword. Trumpendorf, two Trondorf colors, Pink Ganon fan and Phantom Ganon. Toon Link, which is my main, and my favorite skin, the Fierce Deity skin. We got like five different Engineer color skins. This CSP was messed up, so I had to replace it with the Battle Portrait. That's why it looks smaller. As you can see, that one has a bird on the hat. This one does not have the bird on the hat. This one's blue. This one's red with the bird on the hat. And this one's red without the blue and the bird on the hat. Just, you know, different options. All with the Locomo sword as well. This is a Vatty color Toon Link, uh, Outset Island Toon Link with the mirror shield. Uh, they can't remove the hat yet, they're working on it. And then there's a Ravio color, and then a black Toon Link without being evil. Uh, Samus, we got uh, the, gra the Grav suit, the EX suit, uh, Silux, Iron Man, the uh, Phazon suit. Here's a Samus, we have Tifa, uh, Green Lantern color, uh, the formerly liquid Nairo color, no more. It's still the liquid color, but Nairo is no longer part of Team Liquid. And then a purple color, and then a black alt and a red alt. For Pit, uh, I just got a couple different uh, wing color options. Just you know, that that's like Percy from Fire Emblem Fates, and you know, just some varied color options. Palutena, I got Sia from Hyrule Warriors. She has a voice pack. Uh, I got. I forget what anime that one's from. Uh, Dark Palutena. Marth, uh, Ifram, Girahim, and just, you know, other varied Marth colors. Ike, we got a Snake Ike with a snake's voice. Uh, Guts Ike, and a whiter colored Ike. Robin, uh, just two right now. We got a Tharja colored male Robin, and then uh, this color on a female Robin. Duck Hunt, we got a Amaratsu Duck Hunt. Right here, Courage, Cowardly Dog, Banjo Kazooie. Uh, that's the po one of the Pokemon ones, like Growlithe and uh, Farfetch'd, I believe, or something like that. And I forget which what that one is. Uh, nothing on Kirby because he has glitches, unfortunately. Uh, if you put stuff on them, uh, DDD, we got a Green Lantern DDD, DDD Clone, and Shadow DDD. Um, Meta Knight's got the Faceless Meta Knight and Galactic Knight. Galactic Knight is one of my favorites, by the way. Falco, we have Captain Falco, uh, Red Falco, and the Assault Falco. Pikachu, uh, Shiny Pikachu, Ashachu, uh, Metal Gear Pikachu, Homefront Pikachu, and a Shadow Pikachu. Charizard, we have uh, Dark Charizard, Shiny Charizard, and Ridley with a voice pack. Lucario, we have Amaratsu Lucario, Shiny Lucario, and a Mega Lucario without having to have the Smash Ball. Jigglypuff, we have Shiny Jigglypuff, Hungry Box Jigglypuff. And then eight very uh, jiggly pool colors. Seven jiggly pool colors. Greninja, we have Shiny Greninja, Ash Greninja, Dat Boy, and that's all for now. Greninja. 
I'll go and show off a few more of these. I'm not gonna show off all of them because that would take too long. I'm just, you know, just showing off the most obvious ones, but I'm trying to explain as many as I can. Everything is Wi-Fi safe, by the way. And uh, I replaced Toad with a Heartless, by the way. That's that's why I wanted to show off Peach. And the only thing is, I there was a lot of Toad options from the person that made the pack, but unfortunately, the way Toad works, you can't replace Toad on multiple on multiple slots. So he's gonna be the same for everybody. And then for the Harambe skin, uh, has a picture for Harambe on his on his tie. And then other than that, it's just you know it's DK. Other than that, so, uh, the Galactonite skin is one of my favorites. I think it was really well made as well. And then, you know, Dat Boy is kind of just, you know, obvious, so... I'm just gonna wait for the billboard to show up. Or I'm gonna die because of 2.0 launch rate. That's hilarious. Alright, so we got... The meme completed with Dat Boy. It says it. Um, it says, oh shit, what up? And then, uh, Meta, Meta Knight, Galactic Knights is kind of obvious. And then, uh, Harambe has something that says that. Pete Gold Peach, you can go see for yourself. Other ones that we have. Sorry. Let's see what else. Got Nintin over Ness. Uh, got a whole bunch of Captain Falcon based on like soda drinks and stuff, and uh, Captain Coca Cola as a nameplate. Other than that, uh, we got Neon Falcon, Captain America, a uh, full helmet faced Falcon. Sorry if it glitched out a little bit in the video, but it you, you get the idea. Villager, we have Miku Villager, Sans, uh, Panda Global Villager, MLG Villager, Isabel, and Sin. Olimar, I have four Louis alts. The announcer will even say Louis. Got some Wii Fit Trainer colors, including the A Star the Third skin. Uh, for Shulk, we have pre pretty much my favorite mod of all time. Uh, Dr. Mario, we got a toasty Dr. Mario, Dr. Granddad, and Metal Mario. Dark Pit, we have Silas with the Silas voice. That one has Silas's voice because Silas and Dark Pit had the same voice pa voice actors. And just some other varied colors. Uh, Lucina, we have Mik Mikasa Lucina, Fire Emblem Fate Color Lucina, and Court like Corin, Honoka, and uh, Camilla. Pac Man, we have non-yellow Pac-Man, you know, based off the ghosts. It's kind of cool that they're no longer, he does not have to be yellow. Mega Man, I got a couple options, like the rip-off Mega Man, uh, Bomberman, base, and then a bunch of Proto Man alt colors. Sonic, we have uh, Super Sonic, uh, a Litten Sonic, uh, Shadow alt, a, sh a bunch of Shadow colors with alt and Mephilus. Uh, from Mewtwo, uh, we have one of my favorites, we have uh, with Mewtwo, we have uh, Shadow Mewtwo and an alternate Shadow Mewtwo, Shiny Mewtwo, and then the Armored Mewtwo from PM. I have all the colors options too. This is easily one of my favorite ones. 
This one is probably one of the best ones because he's like his entire body is colored. And uh, the Sora one is pretty good overall. I mean, they got it rid of the thing. Uh, if you look really closely, like at the really closely at the arms and the neck, it looks kind of messed up. But honestly, it's really good, and you shouldn't blame on it too much. The Keyblade looks really good. The only thing is that the keychain has to stay extended in order for it to match the Monado. Otherwise, it will fail. And uh, the Blade of Light still comes out, but since in Kingdom Hearts... Like, literally, the Keyblade has been seen to shoot Blades of Light, so honestly, it is believable that that's possible, or to shoot a Blade of Light out. Although, whenever you do, pa if you pause the game, when the Keyblade, like, opens up, like the Monado does, it looks kind of messed up, but, I mean, you have to allow some allowances, there's not, nothing's gonna be perfect. But otherwise, other side, it has Sora's voice pack as well. Invincible can't swim for Metal Mario. Alright, I'm just waiting for... There we go. There's Sora's. And, uh, Hero of the Keyblade. Anyway, after that, uh, let's see. What else did I not want to show? I mean, Lucas doesn't have that much. It just has one. I have to add more for him. Um, Roy, I have Melee Roy. Uh, I got the Awakening Roy to fixed. I got that. I got it working. And uh, Isaac, I got an Isaac Vertex edit uh, update. Ryu just has a bunch of colors. I do not have the Ken one because the Ken one does not have CSPs and the voice pack is kind of glitchy. The Goku one sucks, don't ask me to put that in because they haven't even made did the person that's making that didn't even try. Uh Bayonetta, I got a purple bayonetta and the uh god bayonetta like a, a like an angel bayonetta god color one from her game. I'm I'm bad. I don't I haven't played her games. Uh Corin, I got a bunch of alts with all with nameplates based on Fire Emblem Fates, Shigure, Azura, Xander, Camilla, Ryoma, and Hanoka. And then for Cloud, we got some of the best ones. I got Zack Fair, uh, Ragnar, and Mewtwo King Cloud. Alright, and this is just to show off the last few Vertex edits. For uh, Isaac over Roy, they got his sword. I don't know what it's called. And they, the model looks a lot cleaner now. Uh, this is just a color. Corn, all of Corn's colors are just colors. This is Xana color from Mewtwo King. This is a Mewtwo King cloud. He's, he's wearing his MVG shirt. This is the skin that Mewtwo King himself uses on his own stream. So, I mean, everyone has it. On the sword, you can see it says LOL M2K and the picture of Mewtwo in a, with the crown. And then the Zack Fair skin, pretty well made in my opinion. It has the right version of the Buster sword. They even got the scar on his face to match correctly. Got some custom text for Cloud and Zack. For uh, Xander and Zack.
and that just shows off those skins. And then last but not least, there is one thing I did put in. There's one thing that is not Wi-Fi safe unless you and a friend have it at the same time. And I'm going to do just a normal match too. The computer. Because I want to show off, I want to be able to show off the stage. And what computer, and what computer, what, is there any edit that I didn't really show? I added, a I added a stage, you'll notice over Omega DK64. This is not Wi-Fi safe, if you, and if you pull it on 4Glory, if you see this in the loading stage, because the way loading works in 4Glory, if you see this load up and, if you see this load up, and oh crap, it's glitching right now. And just wait a sec, alright. Sorry. Anyway, if you see, sorry about the glitches. Uh, my computer took a hard hit, so sometimes it messes up. Anyway. No, it, it's back. Anyway, um, if you, um, if you see this stage loaded for glory, just quit out. And if you don't quit out, it, you'll just get an error and it send you out. You won't get banned and you won't get in trouble or anything. You just get kicked offline, that's all. But if you notice, this is Yoshi's story from, uh, Melee. Everything is the exact same. The blast zones are the same and kind of are narrow. The side blast zones are narrow, and the top blast zone is uh, normal. The platforms are the exact same. Oh yeah, cloud salt meter is, says, uh, limit meter says salt. I'm just waiting for it. There he is. Oh, okay. There he is. Randall is back as well. He's a fully functioning platform, and he, and he functions the exact same as Melee. He spawns at the exact same time in all the timers. But as you will see on this stage, those side blast zones are, are pretty narrow. But so you have to be cautioned. This could be a legal stage. It would be like an anti town and city, an inverse town and city, and so because it, it affects everyone equally. Also, the shy guys are not are in the background now, so you don't have to worry about them and messing with hitboxes. The ceiling is about the same as as it would be on Smashville and everything. So if you're on the platform, you are going to die earlier, obviously. It's just that the side blast zones are what you have to be watching out for, like. Clouds limit side B. Probably could kill at round 60, 70 without rage if you're at the very edge of the stage. Obviously, even earlier, if he somehow cut, uses Randall to sneak out and get you. And the only thing is, if you somehow, if and you don't have to leave for glory if you don't want to. If you see this load, it'll just kick you out, and then you can laugh at what the other person sees. But if for some reason you load for glory and you get the and you get the stage if both players have it on four glory you actually will play this stage in four glory 
And this stage was so good. That's the only reason why I added it, even though it's technically not Wi-Fi safe. Whereas every other skin in the game and everything else is Wi-Fi safe if the other person doesn't have mods. This one just requires both people to have it. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the last thing uh, I should probably mention is whenever you're done playing, you, you do have to load the mods. If you want to know how to do this, look at my previous video. That's a bit long, longer than this for 1.7. It explains how to set up the mods originally uh, and everything. If you do, When you're done playing the game... Oh, yeah, and I also changed the opening video. I'm going to go and show that. Yeah, sorry if there's a uh, stuttering on the quality right now. I've been uh, I've been away for a while and I gotta get gotta get my computer fixed. I just needed to get this done. I don't know why my stream is doing this right now. Twitch is probably having issues because I was recording video yesterday for San Japan and the other day for San Japan and there was no air quality issues like this. I don't know why it's doing this. Well, I know that lagged like crazy, but, uh... uh I have to f I'll work on my stream again. Anyway... The last thing I'm gonna say is, when you're done playing- if you're- when you're done with any mods, most mods do this, don't just turn off your console. It, your game won't freeze. Don't just turn off your console when you're done playing. Just open up the home menu and close soft and hit close so and hit close and close software. Otherwise, or unplug your console. That's it. Other than that, you're all 100% good. Everything is Wi-Fi safe. Trust me, I've tested it all. It is all Wi-Fi safe except for Yoshi's story, which that will be Wi-Fi safe if both players have it, which a lot of people might have it now. So that might be kind of cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, you can, you know, I usually answer questions in the comments and everything. So, uh, yeah, and uh, probably within another month, uh, I'll have another version out with even more skins and content, depending on how much more of process the modding community has man managed to do. And then uh, one final thing, I do not own any of these mods. I am only responsible for creating the pack. I did not create the mods that are in the pack. Make sure you look at the text file and in the comments about who is responsible for making all the mods. And make sure you go on Game Banana and give them a follow and a like and everything. And if they have a Twitter that they put on there or whatever, you go follow them and everything. And make sure that, you know, you give the, you, you thank them for what they did. Because I am. I'm going to name them all by names because there's literally like 70 plus authors that I got stuff from. Because there's so many people that make make things. So I don't take any credit for this. This video is not monetized or anything like that, so following the copyright laws that I am allowed to, to share it is since I'm sharing it in, in an uneditable form. So either that, the download link's in the description, and uh, everything should be good. So thanks for watching.